Today I'm going to um, work on some um, abstract landscapes and I've set this up a little bit differently instead of having I think it was 12 in the other grid journals I did I set up a little bit bigger three by threes and I did six of them this is a uh, heavy-duty paper it's like an 80 pound paper that should take the different um, things that I'm going to use on it I um, I want to be able to go outside and plain air paint. I've got some really pretty areas. We we walk to a lake every day, and um, uh, I'd like to be able to put together a little kit and go down there and sketch and use uh, mixed media. So I'm just going to practice on these, and I'm going to use some different um, media because I tend to go always... I'll use like one different thing like I did the other day. I think I used an ink tense block. But then I go to my acrylics because that's what I'm so used to painting with. So I'm going to try today to use some different media. And I'll show you before I put anything on what I'm using. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep this to about 20 minutes. So I'm going to be working fast maybe a disaster, I don't know. I'm just gonna um, try to layer some stuff up and come up with some kind of little landscape. So I'm gonna start again with the Stabilo and I'm just gonna scribble. I'm gonna do some this way, some that way. I'll do just a mixture just to get something on each block. And again, I'm not trying to stay perfectly in the square and I'm going to use my Liquitex matte medium to activate it because like I said before that not only activates it but it seals it and then a lot of this will get covered up um, as I put stuff on top of it and this is water soluble so that's why I use the matte medium because I want it sealed as much as possible so it's still going to move um, some but at least this will uh, seal it and then at the end I varnish when I do a painting I varnish it and seal everything in anyway but <clears throat> all right we'll just start like that which I love that already as I've said before and I think I'm going to start with this is something I used the other day. These are ink tense blocks and they are water soluble, but when they dry, they're permanent. So I still think you can move them around a little bit, but I'll, I'll use the matte medium on these too. So I'm just going to pick out a kind of a dirty green and I'm thinking I might do just different things for each one, but like if I was going to do a landscape, I might just hit it like that. Then I'll pick out another green. This is a little bit brighter green. And uh, just hit that here and there. And I'll pick out one more green. This is a really, really bright green. I'm just going to plop that on right uh like that. Okay, let's see what that does. Again, I'm going to take my matte medium. I, again, if you're working this quick on this many, you can't think but so much. Okay, so when we wet these, we can kind of blend them. And ooh, that's pretty. Um, like I said, when you're working on this many, you can't think but so much, which is good for me because I tend to try to draw something meticulously or follow it um, very carefully. And I can definitely uh, get stiff and overwork something. All right, I like those for that. Um, 
Let's see, what if we took, um, I've got some Derwent watercolor pencils. See, I've got lots of supplies. You know how it is, you watch somebody and they're using something and then it's like, oh, I need, I've got to have that. I buy all these supplies and then I always tend to, to use, like I said, I go back to my acrylics because that's what I love. Like, I've got tons of watercolors. I used to do exclusive watercolor um, until I got into the acrylics and layering. And uh, so I, I really want to get to where I can use mixed media. I see other artists do it, and I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to try this. Um, this is a Derwent watercolor spectrum blue. I have no idea, but I'm going to, like maybe say there's some water there and let's put some water up in this one and then I'm maybe sky with that blue I don't know just I'm just scribbling here and there I'll put some there and I'll just make some marks in that one not sure this is going to show up that well but it will add some color it'll probably get um covered up but let's just Try not to use too much water, but okay, I like that. So that's um, a couple different mediums. Let's try, I have got some portfolio oil pastels. That's interesting. I saw somebody use them once and loved it, so I bought them, and I have barely used them. It, some very interesting colors. So these are, again, portfolio oil pastels, and I see other people use oil pastels in mixed media, and I think it's beautiful. So let's just throw some on here. Like I said, I'm just layering up right now, just seeing what I get. Put some of that in the sky here. All right, we'll use that color. Um, here's a purple that might be interesting. Like I said, I have no idea what how these are going to turn out, but I've been wanting to layer up with some mixed media so I'm just throwing stuff on here and then I can always uh, cover it up. Oil pastels, okay I'm going to take, um, here's a darker blue, let's put that where we have that water we'll just throw some dark blue in, maybe in the sky here to, on top of that purple, see what that does. Okay, um, I don't think they're even water soluble, but probably if we touch them with the water, we can loosen them just a bit. All right, they're interesting. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is, let's see, what other products do I have? I still have just tons of products that I don't normally use. Let's, let's use a little ink. This is this Jim Holtz Distress Spray Ink. And I'm just going to open it. This is a blue. You can spray it. But I'm just going to touch it here and there with some of this. Let's see what that does. This is very intense. So just I'm just pulling it out of the bottle and there. That 
quick because, like I said, I am trying to um, work quickly. Let me see. Here's another one. This is called Fossilized Amber. Let's just touch that here and there. I'm not sure how that this is going to do layering because sometimes... Um, I used an ink one time, and then I really couldn't go over but it was like an India ink. So I'm thinking this one's going to be more like once I start with my acrylics, I could um, actually go over it. So I love that. And um, I'm, they need to dry just a little bit, but I don't want to turn my hair dryer on and blow your eardrums out. So I'm just going to hit it like this. It should, uh, the ink, I put the ink on real thin, so it should dry. But see, I think they're pretty already. Um, I could add a little house to each one just to see, but I think I will, um, I think I might uh, work into the sky. I always, um, I tend to use like a light teal in the sky. So now I've layered all that stuff up and I like it. I am going to get some gesso on my palette and some light teal and mix those. And maybe work into the sky a little bit. Now I don't want to cover up everything I've done. So I'm going to hit that like there. Uh, when I cover the Stabilo, some of it will still show through, and I might want to, uh, like, I like that blue, so maybe I'll just hit that here and, and there. I could always um, kind of rub it in, because I've got that other blue. Uh, what was that from? That was from the uh, Ink Tents, I think. So that's kind of pretty. All right, let's do it again right here. I'm just going to go ahead. Like I said, it'll blend with these colors I've put underneath. And uh, you'll be able to see some of that underneath, plus what I'm putting on now could be interesting. So, ooh, I love that bottom. Man, that's really pretty. All right, I'm going to make this one a little darker teal and again touch right up here in the sky and leave that bottom. I love how the, the land turned out. Um, I can always like just scrape into it, that type of thing. I like the little bit darker blue, so I'm going to pop plop that in here. I mean, it's more of a teal, I guess, than a blue, but I love the way the lands looks. Once I put this, once I put the sky in, it really makes the bottom part pop. This is pretty. I might do a um, since I used, since I've got some purple in there, I've got a a pretty purple that I could lighten down. I'll put the blue and the purple. I might put a purple sky in this one against that, the yellow of that ink. That's pretty. I might just plop some of it down here where it might be reflecting, scratch into it. Um, let's see here. I'll put a purple one here. Just like I said, I'm plopping some acrylic on top of this, um, pretty, and, uh, I might take some of the teal that I was using in the sky and just run a swatch right there like I don't know what it is just 
Maybe a line of it right there would be pretty. That looks like a yellow field, purple sky. And then that, I think that's real pretty. Put some of that there. Oh, I actually like that one just like it is. That one, that's pretty. This one needs a sky in it. Let's see, what would be pretty there? Hmm. I'm going to mix some of the blue and purple, which will make kind of a lavender, like a that there and like I said you can see underneath that showing up a little bit let's bring that on down I'm just going to kind of uh, saw that down there so that those green grasses kind of show up wow I'm amazed. I really like those. I could see um, going out into the landscape and using these techniques, just all this different layering. Um, let's see, do I want to put something in? I don't know. I kind of like them as they are, just kind of as an abstract landscape. I think I'm going to take some of this, um, I'm going to take an ink, ink tense block. I've got another, I might just put a little, where I've got that purple, I might just put some darker green. Like I said, these are different supplies that I, I use a little bit here and there, but uh, if I could figure out how to use them like this. I'm going to put some of this dark green maybe right there. Just to get some dark in the bottom. It's pretty. Maybe some right there. More. Oh yeah. When I hit it with that dark, that really makes that. One thing that you can do Possibly on this one, I get a little bit of white gesso on my brush, and I could actually put some sailboats in, so uh, let's hope that this turns out. I can uh, just touch and pull. Touch and pull. Yeah, that looks like a couple sailboats there, maybe on this lake. Put a little one there. I like those. Yeah, if I um if I put that in and then thought, nah, I don't like that, you know, I could easily just take the teal and just go right over them. But I think I think it kind of looks like some sailboats on some water back there. Um let's see here. I could put in, I see a little light spot here. I could put in a little cottage. Just quickly draw it. And then I could take some of that white. Carve it out just a hair. I'll take some of the, the darker purple. little bit of the uh, Stabilo. You can just grab a little bit of that st um, Stabilo on on your brush. I just kind of want to touch the roof with a little bit darker to make it It looks like a little uh, cottage back there. I don't want to mess up my blue, and I love that. So um, 
probably make the roof maybe just a tiny bit darker. Like I said, it's just a bare suggestion. And again, if I put this in and thought, no, that messes it up, I could just wipe it out with something. But I like that. It would have the white side, and then maybe this side would be shaded. So we'll shade that side, and that really makes that little white side stand especially against that blue, so that, that looks like a little a little house up there on the hill. I'll touch the top of it, carve it down just a little bit. Yeah, there's a little, some little sailboats right here. I'm just going to touch them with the end of my brush and see if I can Carve them out just a little bit. I can just touch around them. Yeah, it's not supposed to be, it's just supposed to be the suggestion. Some boats. I like that. Just gonna touch the bottoms. Yeah, just just suggestion of some boats, suggestion of a little house up here. Yeah, so you could just if you just wanted a little something real, you could take each one and just um, throw something in. So. I think I'm going to just put a little wash of blue right there. I might hit this again. Maybe touch down here and there where that would be reflecting. Again, I can keep uh, touching right around these little boats. Kind of carves them out a little bit more. And um, love that. I might lighten the purple right, right down at the bottom. Let's see. Bottom of the sky. That's pretty. Um, that looks like a block, something. So, which is fine. But I might just knock that out just a hair. I just put a little bit of acrylic paint over it and then scraped into it. I like that better. I love that. That's pretty. I could probably uh, maybe lighten right down at the bottom here. You can... Uh, Put some in, touch it, scrape it. Oh, I love that yellow next to that little bit of pur purple roof. And the, just the one hint of the lightest white right there on the side of the building. Um, I think I'm gonna bring some of this purple back down into that blue. Yeah, that kind of looks like mountains. You can scrape into it. Uh, I might, since I've got looks like mountains in now, I might just lighten the sky a little bit more and see if I can make those mount that mountain pop out like that. Yeah, so I can definitely see where the mixed media, if I layer it um, when I'm out, 
I could uh, come up with some interesting stuff. This kind of looks like trees. I wonder if I um, took my Stabilo and just... See, anytime you do something, you're, you're, it might be a disaster, but I'm just going to pull this up and just kind of let the pencil just do its thing, but I'm going to just try to maybe put in a few trees here. Uh, let's see. Just let the branches kind of and make maybe some thicker, okay, like that. Let's see now if I take my matte medium and again just take my brush and pull up. Can I get something that resembles? I saw, you know, the Stabilo was left and so I thought, well, maybe I could uh, just suggest some trees in here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. That would be a good way to suggest the trees. Um, this just looks like grasses. Something going on here. I could either just leave that, or again, I could um, maybe uh, knock these down just a hair and then touch it so it's uh, lighter on one side and darker on the other of my purples. It didn't really cover it up that much, but it knocked it down just a hair. I could probably take my um, gesso and that'll that'll really uh, veil it a little bit and give it a... There, that looks kind of like a cloud. I love that purple against the yellow. So um, I'm going to take the my teal at full strength. And again, when I touch right next to these sailboats, and I'll knock out some more of that Stabilo. I like it, but I want the, uh, the sailboats to stay up show more so yeah I just used more of a medium strength now you really see the sailboats and I love the blue against this yellow it was just an accident but um, you can see so I pulled a mountain into that one a house some sailboats some trees and this one again could possibly Let's see, let's, let's go darker and see if we can knock those marks out. Yeah, it doesn't cover them, and you can see, see them showing up a little bit, which I like. But that darker purple against the, um, the yellow, I've even, I can even go a little bit darker right there. Against that yellow, and then maybe go back lighter, kind of like there's some mountains there. Just touch it here and there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty against that yellow. And I'm going to take the teal and again put one more swatch right there. But I love, I love how that bottom turned out right there. Let's see if I just kind of scratch. And now that the trees are in, if I wanted to take some more sky color, see I can pick out little areas like right there. Maybe if I wanted to make that. If I wanted to thin that branch out a little bit or this one, I can touch here and there. I see little shapes in there. I'm just kind of uh, touching because 
the lighter I make the sky, the more the little branches will show up. And maybe some I want to just thin down a little bit. Don't want to do too much because I already like it. And if I lighten right there, that kind of looks like a hill back there. All right. All right, those are some messy landscapes, but I can definitely see how I could use this technique um, when I pack a little kit and take it out to the lake nearby. I love uh, how those colors turned out together, and that was super fun, so thank you for watching.